2K14 was the first WWE game developed by 2K Sports after 2K acquired the license to produce the WWE video games after THQ filed for bankruptcy. The game itself was mostly well received as IGN gave the game 8.7 out of 10, stating it lacks the brains to deliver competent AI and commentators, but WWE 2K14 has more than enough brawn to make up for it. The game incorporated several new modes including the streak and a special mode dedicated to 30 years of WrestleMania, both of which were popular with fans albeit with a few minor criticisms. But let's take a more in-depth look and look at secrets and easter eggs you may not have known about WWE 2K14. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when we upload a video. Number 8. Remove Names from the Undertaker's Streak One of the most popular new modes in the game was titled The Streak. In this specific mode, players can choose to play as the Undertaker and attempt to defeat a number of opponents, or players can try and actually break the Undertaker's legendary win streak. The mode contains a list of the Undertaker's victims, and there are obvious names such as Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and even A-Train, but there are actually two names that aren't included on the list. These two names are Psycho Sid and Giant Gonzalez. It appears to be legal reasons for the basis of their names not being included, as Giant Gonzalez was never signed to a WWE Legends contract, meaning he's never appeared in a WWE video game. In relation to Sid, it's unclear why his name wasn't included. In relation to Sid, it's unclear why his name wasn't included. He made an appearance on Raw's 1000th episode a couple of years prior, so it appeared as if the relationship between himself and the WWE was healthy at the time. Perhaps it was just strictly down to legal issues. Number 7. Removed Wrestlers There are some notable wrestlers that were removed shortly before the game hit shelves. These wrestlers were George the Animal Steel, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Ken Shamrock, Mankind, Roddy Piper, and Shane McMahon. In relation to George Steele and Duggan, this was likely a basic royalty issue. Piper, however, was not happy, especially because he was such a pivotal part of the success of the initial WrestleMania. Piper would tweet, No Roddy Piper in 30 years of WrestleMania? Then it's not 30 years of WrestleMania. Shamrock's removal may simply be down to the fact that both parties failed to strike a deal, even though Shamrock was in the previous game, so the deal could have just been for one game. Mankind's removal was a strange one as he had a healthy relationship with the WWE at the time, however some fans speculated that because the Mankind character didn't have many memorable moments at WrestleMania, they decided to remove him from the game as a playable character. Shane McMahon was also removed, which also made a lack of sense due to Shane being part of WrestleMania 17 in a featured match and with Shane being included in WWE 13, it would seem a certainty that he would be included for the next game, but for whatever reason, it wasn't meant to be. Number 6. A Secret Achievement One of the secret achievements in the game is titled For All Hulkamaniacs. On the surface, you would think that this achievement would be unlocked by winning one of Hogan's legendary WrestleMania matches against the likes of the Ultimate Warrior or Randy Savage, but that wasn't the case. To unlock the achievement, all players had to do was pin Yokozuna at WrestleMania 9. WWE and 2K making this an achievement was an interesting choice, as the decision to have Hogan defeat Yokozuna after he had just defeated Bret Hart for the championship was seen as one of the worst booking decisions in WrestleMania history. Number 5. Bizarre Choices Well, for a reason. And for the WrestleMania mode in 2K14, there were some interesting anomalies and exclusions. For instance, WrestleMania 14 and 15 were pretty much left off the game entirely. This was due to WWE 13 featuring them heavily during the Attitude Era mode the prior year, and 2K14 not wanting to be a carbon copy of the prior year's release. WrestleMania 16 and 17 fails to include some of the most memorable matches in WrestleMania history. Most notably, TLC2 is excluded from the game, as this was because both the Dudley Boys and the Hardy Boys were under contract with rival companies when the game was released. Interestingly, Hogan is included in the WrestleMania mode, this despite him being under a TNA contract and on every TNA television every week at the time. And the reason for this loophole is because Hogan was actually under a Legends contract at the same time as his TNA contract was running, meaning that they could use him in this capacity. 
WrestleMania 20 Showcase decided to feature The Big Show vs John Cena, a match which made perfect sense as it started the rise of Cena to the top of the WWE. But the other match that was showcased from WrestleMania 20 was Goldberg vs Brock Lesnar, an interesting choice to say the least as the match is notable for being one of the worst WrestleMania matches of all time. Now the reason for this inclusion was because WWE weren't able to use any of the two main events from the show. Eddie Guerrero vs Kurt Angle couldn't be used due to Angle being under contract at TNA and Chris Benoit vs Triple H vs Shawn Michaels couldn't be used for, well, for the obvious reasons. Number 4. DLC Unavailable Forever now, there were a total of three different sets of DLC that were released in the months after the game's release. The first set was a special NWO release. This featured superstars such as Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Randy Savage, Six, and Scott Steiner in their NWO attire. It also included a free download of The Giant. The second pack was titled WWE Superstars and Moves and featured the likes of Biggie and the Bella Twins as well as 30 extra moves. This also included a free download of Summer Rae. And the final pack to be released was WWE Legends and Creations pack and would include Bruno San Martino for the first time in any WWE video game, Dusty Rhodes, Jake the Snake Roberts, and Rick Rude. The game additionally featured 14 brand new custom options for superstar heads. This also featured a free download of Virgil if you really wanted to play him. Now the only problem is, is that these DLCs won't be available forever come summer as Sony is reportedly shutting down the PS3 store for good. So if you want them, you better get them now. Number 3. Epic Match Achievement The secret Epic Match Achievement could be unlocked when a player attempted to break the Undertaker's streak. If a player managed to kick out of a pin attempt from the Undertaker five times or more in a singles match, the achievement would be unlocked. Now there was an easy way to unlock this achievement. If players changed the Undertaker's moveset to include power slams with pin combinations, this would mean that the Undertaker would attempt a pin several times in the match, making the achievement slightly easier to achieve. Number 2. Huge New Additions A number of names made their video game debut in 2K14, notably Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose collectively known as The Shield. As mentioned before, Bruno San Martino also made his WWE video game debut, as Bruno had been inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2013 and he finally rebuilt his relationship with Vince McMahon. Other new additions included Titus O'Neil, Darren Young and Biggie. And number 1. Historical Inaccuracies for WrestleManias 1-12 on the WrestleMania mode, WWE would utilize the talents of Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler for the commentary of the matches that occurred during those specific manias. But the problem is, is that JR and King didn't call any of these WrestleMania events together, but obviously WWE didn't have much choice in the matter. Gorilla Monsoon had sadly passed away, Bobby Heenan was unfortunately losing his voice, Vince McMahon was unavailable due to his responsibilities as WWE Chairman, and finally Jesse Ventura was busy with political work outside of WWE. WWE. But there you have it folks, 8 secrets and easter eggs you may not have known about WWE 2K14. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling video game content.